In tight. It's 2-0. Ah, Pudge getting into it with DeMauro now. Pudge held that ball a long time, and I think DeMauro barked at him. Like, throw the ball back. You're showing me up. And he's gone. All right. Cecil Cooper out, but now he'll have to go to J.R. Tolles. Good job here by Latroy. Come in. You just don't want Pubs to get too worked up and end up in a situation where he bumps the mirror and ends up facing some kind of suspension. I, you know, I, I think he's pretty well under control as he tries to make his point, but you know, in the heat of battle, somebody's got to intercede. And a frustrating night with so many of the Astro hitters uncomfortable with the zone that Demiro's had. You know, all those called third strikes. I think Pudge was just trying to make a point. Say, so how about this one? This looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's Dale Scott, the crew chief there. In between Demuro and Rodriguez and Dave Clark coming out. Try to keep Pudge from running into further difficulties here. And J.R. Coles will be coming in to do the rest of the catching now. And there goes Coop. And he's going to get it too. And Coop. Knew he was going to get it, and that's why he stayed out there to support his player. And, you know, a home plate umpire in a called strike situation is only going to take so much. So typically, when you see a manager ejected here, it's because he wants to go. He wants to make his point, and he's willing to hang in there until you toss him. Now Ed Romero. And the difference in this one, as opposed to some of the other ones, of course, is he didn't hit his spot. Pudge had to reach across to get it, but Pudge holding it there because the bottom line is we talked about what umpires give and don't give you. The bottom line is they should call the strike zone as they see it. And again, that's not an easy pitch to call for an umpire to catch it set up over the outside corner. You, you almost never get that call. There's just some frustration boiling over. It. 